Around about a month ago, I got sent a pair of the new Innovate Park Claw G280s. I took them out for their first run, uh, just a nice steady seven miles with a big mix of terrain, including three miles of tarmac, because Innovate pitched this shoe out to the sort of door to trail market. Uh, I've got to be honest, after the first couple of miles of road, I was pretty underwhelmed with the performance, but as I continued to run in the shoe, it actually bedded in nicely, and I really enjoyed the feel of it by the end of that run. Since then, I put some really good miles into the shoe, so let's dive into the video and find out if the new Park Claws continue to impress. Welcome back folks, I'm Lloyd Purvis and you are watching Run For Adventure. We are here to bring you fun and informative running related content and it would be awesome if you are enjoying the videos that we produce if you subscribe to the channel just by hitting that little button down there in the corner. But don't forget to hit that bell icon so you'll also be notified when we upload any new exciting running content. But that's enough of that, let's get on with the review. So the updated Park Claw is Innovate's attempt to make the ultimate crossover shoe. So this time round and for the first time in the Park Claw model, they've infused graphene into the shoe. And this is the world's strongest strongest material. So we got graphene in the midsole foam and we've also got it in that outsole rubber compound. I'm going to give you a few specs of the shoe. I'm also going to go through the changes that are made. Then we're going to break down the construction in a bit more detail. And then finally, we'll talk all about how the shoe has performed over the last month. The Park Claw G280 retails in the UK for a pretty hefty £160. Weight wise, it comes in at 315 grams in a men's UK 10.5 runs off a 8 mil heel offset, so we've got 10 mil under your forefoot, 18 mil under your heel. It is available in three different color options for men and two different colorways for women. When it comes down to the fit of the shoe, I don't know whether you picked up on that, but when I gave out the weight, I said a UK 10.5, and yep, that is right, I've had to go up a full size in the park claw to get the right length in the toe. I don't think I've ever run in a UK 10.5 in a running shoe, so these definitely size up small. And I'd say it's got average width in the toe box. I think it would only be right if we start with the biggest changes to the new model, and that has to be the introduction of graphene to the Park Claw. Now, Innovate have used graphene in some other models of their trail running shoes. They had it in the Terra Ultra, now known as the Trailfly G270, and obviously the Trailfly Ultra G300 Max. So this time round, we've got G foam. So we've got that infused into the midsole um, to give you that nice sort of fast, feel underfoot but still offering a nice soft cushioned ride and Innovate claim that it gives you 25% more energy return but you also get it in the G grip rubber outsole as well so you get two helpings of the world's strongest material in the new Park Claw. With the introduction of graphene into that midsole and outsole it should make the new Park Claw pretty durable. While we're talking about outsoles you get a nice 4mm lug depth and if you have a closer look there you get lots of lugs on that outsole as well and in fact 98 in total and that outsole has been designed specifically in that way by Innovate to give you lots of traction and grip when you're out there ripping up the trails but also to offer a nice smooth ride when you have to run on the hard stuff. Moving up to that redesigned upper and we've got this sort of twin layered engineered mesh construction giving you that nice sort of soft breathable yet durable finish. We've got good levels of padding around the ankle collar and in the heel cup, and I can't believe I'm actually saying it, we've got a trail running shoe that's actually got some padding in the tongue. So yes, the Park Claw comes with a nice gusseted padded tongue. We've got some overlays around the heel and around those lace eyelets for a bit of substance in the upper but also higher levels of durability and then rounding off we've got a nice rubberized toe bumper for a bit of on trail protection and we've got a handy little pull tab on the heel there just to make it a bit easier to get in and out of the shoe. The one thing I've forgotten to mention and I think I forgot to mention it in the first impressions video is that the new Park Claw comes with an innovate feature that I love and it is a pair of their brilliant boomerang footbeds. 
Uh, these really are top performing insoles and I quite often sort of cross them over to other brands of shoes that I run in. And I think all Innovate shoes would, should come with a pair of Boomerang footbeds in because they're just so comfortable. So there you have it, the brand new Road to Trail shoe from Innovate. Uh, a few of the changes that have been made and a few details about the construction, but I put a good 45 miles into the shoe on a big mix of terrain. So we're gonna go through and highlight all the standout features, but we'll also see if we feel there's anything that could be slightly tweaked slightly improved in the future. First standout feature for me has to be the levels of comfort you get from this new upper design. Over the years of running in Innovate shoes, this definitely hasn't always been the case. And I have had issues in the past with lack of comfort from those uppers, especially on longer runs. And I think they've got it just right when it comes to the new park claws. So we got a nice level of padding around the ankle collar and in the heel cup. We got a bit of substance there, but it's not too stiff, not too rigid that it sort of digs into your ankle when you're running on uneven ground. And like I just mentioned, we've got just the right level of padding in that gusseted tongue. It offers great levels of comfort across the top of your foot, even when you pull those laces down nice and tight, but it's not overly padded. So I've still been able to get that nice and secure and sort of lockdown feel around my midfoot. Uh, the engineered mesh is really soft and plush internally, and I've had no issues when it comes to breathability, even though it is a twin layer design. Always good to have a nice substantial rubberized toe bumper on our trail running shoes. And the only thing I would mention, and this is kind of a good and bad thing, is it did take me a bit of time to get any slack worked out of those laces when I was tying the shoe up. Um, I did have to faff around a bit to get it set up right. Obviously once I did, this is quite a good thing as well because once I tied those laces down nice and tight, they didn't work loose while I was running. Even on the longer runs in the shoe, I didn't have to sort of stop and adjust the laces. That new G-Fly midsole has performed really well on every surface and I think the ultimate test of a sort of crossover a shoe is that you know when you're out there putting miles in on the tarmac it should feel like a road shoe and then when you pick up sections of trail it should obviously feel like a trail shoe and that's exactly how I felt running in the new park claws and you know that's quite a tricky thing to achieve. I wouldn't say the midsole is super super soft and you probably wouldn't want it to be that soft because it's got to handle the trails as well but when you throw in the boomerang factor with that midsole it actually offers a really comfortable ride on the road and I'd have no issues using it as a road shoe and then when I've been out on the trails I feel nice and connected underfoot and that outsole has offered good levels of grip and traction. Talking about outsole, I think it's another element of the shoe that has performed really well. And I think the lug layout and depth are spot on for a crossover shoe. That four mil lug depth can pretty much handle everything. Uh, obviously I haven't tried it out in the sort of deepest, muddiest winter conditions and it might struggle a bit in the real heavy mud, but I don't think it'd be too bad. But on everything else, it's been really good. So rocky, wet rocky, uh, sandy trails, grass, loose gravelly trails, it's performed really well. And I also think that clever design of having all those lugs does give you a very smooth ride when you're running on the tarmac. So all in all, I think it's a really clever outsole design. When it comes to any negatives, there hasn't really been any, I suppose. Uh, it could be a little bit lighter at 315 grams. It's not the lightest shoe I run in, but if I'm honest, I'm just clutching at straws because no, there's not really been any issues with it. Uh, it doesn't feel heavy when I'm out there running. And the only other thing I have to mention is the pretty hefty 160 pound price point. I, I personally think that's a lot of money to pay for a shoe that's kind of designed to be that you know, daily workhorse sort of crossover trainer. And I think that's the downside of working graphene into a shoe construction. Yes, it might be durable, but clearly it is a, an expensive material to use in production. Uh, all the Innovate shoes that utilize graphene are quite pricey. And speaking of price, we've reached that point of the review where we need to get some scores on the Run For Adventure board. So let's start scoring the all new Park Claw G280 and let's start with the price first. Like I just mentioned, 160 pounds for the new Park Claw is pretty expensive. And I think, you know, 125, 130 would have been a much fairer price when you think the shoe is that sort of daily workhorse crossover trainer. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to mark it down a bit when it comes to price. So we're gonna give it a slightly expensive 
five out of 10. Next up is comfort and performance. And I think Innovate have done a really good job with their new door to trail shoe. Uh, it's a really hard thing to achieve when it comes to running shoes. And what you're normally left with is a shoe that doesn't run well when you get on the road and it doesn't perform well out on the trails. And that's definitely not the case when it comes to the new Park Claw. It's been very comfortable and all the tarmac I've run it on to the point where I could just pop it on and take it out for a road run and have no issues at all. But then when I have run it on the trails, it's performed really well in that environment as well. Nicely cushioned from the midsole and that boomerang footbed combo uh, on the more compacted, harder trails. But then really connected, really good ground feel on the more techy stuff. I think having that flex groove in that midsole really helps it sort of adapt to uneven ground. And I've had good levels of grip and traction on all surfaces. Really like the fact that once you've got those laces locked down, they don't work loose. You're not forever stopping and adjusting them. So all in all, a top job done by Innovate. So the new Park Claw is gonna come in with a comfortable and well thought out eight out of 10 for comfort and performance. Last up, the all important topic of durability. And with all the graphene that's been infused in this pair of shoes, it should be pretty durable. So the midsole is feeling really good after 45 miles, but you'd hope for that. And the outsole is showing absolutely no sign of wear at all, which is a real great thing. So this G-grip graphene infused rubber but is very durable. I found that on my Trailfly Ultras as well, crossed them over to lots of road and that outsole is still looking great. When it comes to the upper, looks pretty solid at the flex points, no signs of any early wear whatsoever. Obviously durability is a hard thing to score after just 45 miles, but you know, we'll get a much better idea as we put more miles into the shoe. So far so good though. So it's gonna score a pretty solid graphene infused eight out of 10 for durability. So tallying all those points up for the new Park Claw, it's gonna score a pretty reasonable 21 out of 30. Obviously that score would have been a lot higher if Innovate could just get that price point down a bit. As far as looks, I think we got the strongest colorway out of the three options. I quite like this orange and blue combo. I think some of the other colorways look a little bit drab, a little bit boring if I'm honest, but we all know I like a bright running shoe. So for this combo, this colorway is gonna be a thumbs up and unfortunately a thumbs down for the others. When it comes to comparisons, there are a few options and I think the Park Claw actually feels like a sort of lighter weight Trailfly Ultra G 300 Max. But if you prefer a deeper level of cushioning in your crossover shoes, then the Trailfly would definitely give you that. Uh, Hoka's ATR, Challenger ATR, again, another shoe that will offer you that door to trail experience. However, I think the Park Claws would give you a much better level of grip and traction from its outsole for all year round running. And then we've also got the Timp 4 from Ultra, another shoe that's designed to run a bit of road uh, before and after your trail running. And hopefully we will have a pair of Timp 4s at the channel really soon to test out. So wrapping up with a quick conclusion, and if you're in the market for a sort one-stop shop when it comes to your running shoes. You want a shoe that's gonna cross over to lots of different types of terrain and underfoot conditions, or you want a shoe that you can literally pop on, take for a road run on a Tuesday, a trail run on a Thursday, and then a big mix of both terrains on your long run at the weekend, then I would definitely recommend checking out the new Park Claw G280 in a bit more detail. Uh, it really is a shoe that does that tricky task extremely well. That's a wrap on another running shoe review here at the channel really hope you enjoyed it really hope you found it helpful you know what to do if you did guys smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already come along and join the run for adventure family we would love to have you i have left a link for the new park clause in the description below if you want to find out any more information but we always like you guys to get involved so if you've been rocking these and getting some good miles in them then let us know all about how they performed in the comments below but until next Next time guys thanks for watching and supporting the channel is really appreciated and as always stay safe and keep on running it's been very comfortable on all the sections of, of road <laughs> uh, it's performed really well nice level of cushioning from that uh, midsole and boomerang <laughs>